was just thinking about how, since I was really little, I've rarely went by standards. I've usually went with whatever was creative at the time. I mean, I would obsess about whether or not something I'm doing or thinking might be considered bad or evil because, you know, the the church taught this notion that to even think something sinful is a sin. So, you know, I mean, I was like Flanders kids. I looked and acted like Flanders kids, afraid of everything. So, you know, there's those types of standards. But for anything that there could be any creative flow at all, flow? creative energy at all, whatever, um, I would be very, very creative. I, I was good at that. But honestly, some of why I would focus on that is because I had a hard time meeting the standards. And I would also get very bored with those standards as well. So creating my own standards of some sort uh, or just paving my own way in that regard always seemed to be the most desirable Starting with the Atari 2600, you know, let's say, let's go to video games. I would get bored so quickly of the way they wanted you to play most of the games. So I would uh, try to find ways to make the game glitch in some ways. On the Atari 2600, it was often flipping the power switch just the right way to get the power to come off off and on just the right way. So the game plays kind of weird. And, uh, you know, hours and hours of fun just seeing what weird things you can get the game to do, right? Yeah, that was always a lot more interesting to me than following the standard gameplay models. And so, you know, I've taken that same sort of approach to just about everything. You know, some people might say, oh, well, you you take a cheating approach because that's what you did with games. And I'm like, well, no, I didn't cheat with games. I just wanted to do something different than what they the way they were designed. And so, yes, I've, I've, I've kind of taken this approach to a lot of things in my life. It's interesting when you, when, you, when you break apart how you do one thing, it can be quite a reflection on how you do a bunch of other things, you know? So, you know, most music styles, you know, well-established music styles and genres, I get bored of pretty easily. There has to be something that, there has to be a band or artist that really stands out, does something that really makes them stand out for me to, to really be into them. And maybe there's maybe there's some snobbishness there for me. I don't know. But but uh, this sort of thing is why I've been so much into when I'm creating. I like doing odd progressions, odd chord progressions, odd time signatures. It's just I'm not bored with those things, you know. But I haven't honestly been that great at music production. I, I have to be honest with myself about that. I'm not that great at music production. The, 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 you know, I know how a lot of studio stuff is done. But I just, I don't know. Um, I mean, I, I could produce someone else's music a lot easier than I could my own. So if 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 I could somehow work with a really good producer, I, I'm sure I could come up with with an album's worth of music every month. You know, of course, I'd I'd want to work with a lyricist as well because I I struggle with lyrics. I do. I mean, some of them aren't that bad, but. It's one of the main things that holds me back uh, when I'm when I'm writing songs. So anyway, I, I just I just find myself getting very bored with a lot of things that are geared towards the, the general population. That's one of the reasons why the superhero thing is so stupid to me. I don't really care if the the, the general concept of a superhero, some the, the whole superhero concept. I understand that those kinds of stories have been told for millennia. Okay, I, I get it. It doesn't make me like them anymore. Okay, you've got to do something original or interesting for me to, to enjoy that sort of thing. You know, as I've said before, you know, fine, have superpowers. Great, that's fine. Do something like Donnie Darko or something, you know? Yeah, and most of the comic book superhero stuff, it just doesn't interest me as an adult. It might have interested me as a kid, but as an adult, eh, I don't know. You know, particularly with all the fripperies and corny costumes and dialogue, you know? Anyway, some of the reason why I've brought all this stuff up is that I'm starting to see the utility in existing standards and traditions. Maybe not with a superhero thing, but uh, in a number of other areas, yes. People have usually done things a particular way for a plethora of reasons. 
Perhaps I should look at the wisdom of generations instead of constantly turning my nose up at it. This isn't to say that I suddenly think traditions are great and that I, I now shouldn't question them or something. I, I'm not going there. But I also shouldn't be so snobby about the whole thing. You know, I, I look back and I'm like, yeah, I, I, musically, I, I've been kind of a snob. Number of areas, I've been kind of a snob. I shouldn't act like I know better than everyone else in those areas, and I think that's what I've been doing for a long time. I suppose changing my stance on this sort of thing is just part of getting older. I'm wanting to get more back into music writing again, and I'm wondering how this mindset change is going to affect that. Anyway, thanks for watching.